Hi there, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. It's Friday, which means another crypto interest rates and news update video. Today is the 4th of December, 2020. And as always, we'll start by taking a look at any changes to interest rates and coins on the platforms we cover. And the big news this week is that there have been a few changes in the Celsius network. I updated this on the 1st of December. I noticed there were from some changes to Ethereum. And also, I don't know if I've missed this out, but um, the compound rates, so I've added these in, 7.5%, uh, 9%. Uh, 0.86% paid in Celsius on Compound currently on the platform. Now Celsius do change their interest rates uh, fairly um, fairly rapidly and fairly frequently. So do make sure you keep an eye on those uh, if you are using the uh, network. Uh, make sure that you're getting um, decent kind of rates because they often come in with quite high rates, almost like a headline uh, rate and then uh, lower them substantially. I know uh, they did that with BAT, for example, um, came in with a really high rate and then dropped down pretty rapidly. So keep an eye if you're on Celsius. Uh, no other big um, news to uh, report here. If you do see errors and omissions, let me know in the comments below or via email always at the bottom of the sheet here crypto dave uk at gmail.com and then taking a look at the uh, token prices this week so you can see here uh, crypto.com uh, pretty flat over the week had a really nice run up actually first half of the week and it's uh, given up pretty much all those gains so it's up just under one percent as of a recording this video uh, celsius networks had a really good week up 17 percent but the big news this week up 65.3 percent is nexo so um, a massive increase in price we'll cover uh, some nexo stories in a minute that might be contributing to this but um, I think in general, there's a really positive um, sentiment around Nexo at the moment. I think some of their Nexonomics, some of the stuff they're doing to try and drive a value for the Nexo token certainly seems to be working for them. Um, now, I've actually moved from earning in kind uh, about four days ago to earning in Nexo tokens. I think there's uh, potentially some upside, some continual upside in the next few months. I'm not saying necessarily that in the long term I'll be uh, holding them, but I think certainly in the next few months, I think we could see a little bit more upside to the Nexo token, just like we saw um, earlier in this year with CRO, massive spike up in price, and more recently with Celsius, big drive up in price in Celsius. So I think potentially we could see this uh, with Nexo over the, the next few months. Obviously, this isn't financial advice, just my opinion. And then moving on to the stories this week, uh, the big news this week and the big story that's dominated CFI is the announcement of the Bitcoin rewards credit card from BlockFi. Now they've been um, touting this for quite a while, but it's actually been um, launched or sort of soft launch a uh, an ability to join the wait list. I believe it's going to be uh, launching in the beginning of next year. It will be launching in the US in some selected states. So uh, although I've joined the wait list um, here in the UK, I won't be able to get it when it first launches. Um, but it is a genuine kind of credit card. So compared to stuff like crypto.com and swipe, um, which are ultimately prepaid debit cards. This is an actual credit card, so it just works just like a normal Visa credit card. But the cashback that you get will be in Bitcoin. Now, I imagine this will go into um, the associated BlockFi account, which will then um, gradually uh, start earning interest as well. But uh, nice to see uh, this launch. The the slight um, issue with it, which I think has taken a bit of the polish off it, is that it's going to have a $200 annual fee. And a few people were pointing out that a um, if you did sign up for this card, you'd need to spend about $13,000 uh, just to um, actually pay back uh, that annual fee in terms of kind of cash back. So you'd have to be spending an awful lot of money on it in order to be making a substantial kind of cash back. But then um, also that there are a number, certainly in the States, of zero rate or free uh, cashback cards that are paying maybe 2%, something like that. And that, you know, potentially you could be better off uh, taking one of those, just taking your cash back each uh, month and buying Bitcoin with it. Uh, but despite this, I think it's um, it's nice to see it's been launched finally. Uh, nice to see this kind of adoption and something that's um, will um, undoubtedly be bringing kind of Bitcoin into the attention of more people. So I think it's really nice that it's finally um, about to launch. Um, I'll put a link to all these articles in the description below. You can read more about it on this page. It's a pretty cheesy um, uh, advert really that uh, has been launched on the BlockFi YouTube channel. Uh, it's pretty cheesy, but uh, you can read more about it here. And then there's some more questions in the blog. So this is a blog on BlockFi. Again, this will be linked below so you can read a little bit more about it uh, there. And then another BlockFi story is that, um, as we can read here, we're excited to, excited to announce rather that BlockFi can now act as a liquidity provider for clients trading Bitcoin futures and options blocks on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Uh, so this is a CME exchange um, or CME 
CME, uh, and this is the CME that a lot of people in Bitcoin trading talk about the CME gap. So this is the gap that forms between an asset um, closing on a Friday afternoon. This is a traditional exchange. So it closes on Friday afternoon, reopens on a Monday morning. And any fluctuation in price over the weekend um, causes a gap and the uh, traditional kind of view of this is that um, the price will adjust back to wh whatever it was on the kind of Friday uh, the Friday evening to fill that gap so if the price of Bitcoin for example goes up massively over the weekend it will drop back down to kind of like reach the same amount as it was on that Friday afternoon or conversely if it drops over the weekend it will jump back up to uh, fill that gap now it's not always the kind of case but it's a sort of like traditional um, sort of thinking that this normally kind of happens so um, nice to see BlockFi continuing to do um, uh, financial institution kind of deals um, partnerships within the kind of industry as well as obviously the stuff they're doing on a more consumer uh, focus uh, for example you know the the credit card the loans interest accounts and stuff like that and then moving on to Nexo um, if you've been impressed by the price of the Nexo token if you want to get involved in Nexo uh, now potentially is a good time to sign up because they are doing triple interest um, in December and the way this works it's only unfortunately for new users so if you're an existing um, user of Nexo you won't benefit but if you're a new user so if you sign up basically uh, you will get triple the interest um, that you would normally get throughout the month of December interest is paid out on a daily basis uh, with Nexo and the way this will work is that your deposit your uh, cryptocurrency or uh, stable coin you will earn whatever you would normally and then the extra two times of that will be paid out in Bitcoin so whether you choose to get paid in kind or in Nexo tokens, the additional chunk will be paid out in Bitcoin. So it makes it up to triple interest for December. Now there's no lockups or anything like that. There's no minimums. I don't think you can just move money in and um, into the exchange and off to the platform um, as frequently as you like. There's no uh, withdrawal or network fees as well, which is quite nice. So you can read all about it uh, here, but uh, nice to see a little bit of a bonus being uh, announced by Nexo for new users in December. And then uh, moving on to the loyalty program. So we talked about uh, part one of this um, a few weeks ago, probably about three or four weeks ago now, and part two's just been uh, launched. So this is the loyalty program and how it benefits you. Uh, part two, dynamic passive income. I will let you read through all of this in your own time. Um, but ultimately, if you hold Nexo tokens, if you choose to be paid in Nexo tokens, uh, you will earn higher interest. And if you have a loan with them, a crypto bat loan, you will pay lower uh, interest uh, rates on that loan. So that's the kind of crux of it, but you can look at all the different kind of levels and stuff like that, how much, uh, how many kind of tokens, what percentage of tokens you need for each of the levels and the difference in um, interest rates and stuff like that that you will uh, get. Now, uh, unlike Celsius, um, Nexo token doesn't earn interest itself, but it does entitle title you to dividends um, so Nexo distributes 30% of its net profits to token holders through dividends I think this is twice a year they do this so if you are holding Nexo tokens um, you will be entitled to dividends um, as they are released uh, throughout the year and then uh, finally uh, also uh, on the Nexo front and might be responsible for some of the increase in price this week is this uh, 12 million dollar buyback program now I did notice in the small print here um, so Nexo's board of directors just approved the repurchase of up to 12 million worth of our native Nexo token. So it does say here up to 12 million. I hope that's um, just kind of semantics and they are going to be buying back 12 million because up to 12 million could be anything. It could be like a, a single cent, anything up to 12 million. I imagine it will be very close to 12 million. Maybe they're just kind of like covering themselves if it's fractionally kind of different. But um, they will be buying back the token. They will be taken out of circulation by moving them to this uh, public address. And then once the tokens are locked into this address, they're not going to be eligible for dividends. So it makes every token you hold that little bit more valuable. So uh, really nice to see them doing this. Um, they've been doing a lot of stuff on the Nexonomics. You can read through the entire article here. Again, this will be linked uh, below but really nice to see um, them continuing to uh, innovate continuing to do things which will uh, push the price of the Nexo token for holders um, in a positive direction and then finally this week uh, Celsius so this was announced um, just on their Twitter they're going to be doing a thousand dollar AMA giveaway so the AMA is the ask me anything this is the weekly uh, YouTube ask me anything with Alex 
and uh, this is later today so if you're watching this uh, roughly when it kind of comes out on Friday later on Friday uh, the 4th they will be doing their AMA and uh, so it's afternoon US time and uh, they're going to be giving away a thousand dollars so that's a hundred dollars in BTC to 10 different users uh, you can go onto the Twitter thread here and you can vote for how you think that should be distributed for, uh, to people um, but that will be uh, available later today good luck if you are watching that hope you uh, win some uh, BTC always nice um, but that's it for this week uh, thanks very much for watching as always I hope you're all keeping uh, safe and well if you could give me a thumbs up that would be fantastic it really helps other people find the videos and I haven't been getting a huge amount of traction on YouTube recently so uh, if you could uh, leave me a kind of comment or, or give me uh, a thumbs up that would really be appreciated if you have questions let me know in the comments below uh, I hope you're all keeping safe and well as I said um, hopefully I will see you on the next video but until then have a great day take care bye bye